instead of looking at the camera at you, like, I keep looking <laughs> at Missy Skeleton. Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video friends, we, well we, I am getting another tattoo. I'm so excited. If you guys have been here well, you know I have a fair amount of tattoos and whatnot. Um, I haven't gotten a tattoo since 2020. I got these three, like this whole garden bit in September of 2020. I haven't gotten one since then. I took a while. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to get because I had so many ideas. And I had one actually scheduled for a few weeks ago, but because of all the heart stuff and potentially waiting for surgery, I had canceled it. But now surgery is on hold. So I'm just like, you know what? My artist had a cancellation. She was like, can you come in? I was like, yes, let's do this. I was initially going to get one on my shoulder, but I'm holding that one because I'm wearing my life vest heart situation, the defibrillator vest. So I don't want to get one right here, but I am getting one. Let me move, let me show you. I am going to get it right there on the like lower bicep bit. I'm getting a bat tattoo. I'm beyond excited for this because you guys know I love bats. Like I really love them. And I'm just so excited. I want like the little claws and the ears. And I asked her if we're going to do wings that are like lacy. So kind of Victorian goth bat is what we're going for. And I'm so excited for it. It's just, it's everything I need right now. So um, I'm gonna try and vlog the process. I haven't asked her about this beforehand, so I hope she's cool with me kind of filming a little bit inside. I won't do too much because I want to respect the process, but yeah, let's just go inside and uh, get tattooed. Okay, and here's her shop. It is called Body of Art Tattoo. I will leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out. She's an incredible artist. All of this um, artwork on the walls is hers. She's also really amazing at body art. She was on Skin Wars, like one of the first seasons and came in third place. So she's incredible. I absolutely adore her style and the work she does. So first thing we did, we put on obviously our stencil. Here's how we're thinking it's gonna look. To get started, I am absolutely obviously so so in love with it <laughs> look at this little face is absolutely ferocious oh my gosh so so cute <laughs> and then um so it took maybe about two hours or so to do this one it wasn't too bad pain wise definitely once we got to that inner arm a little sore um we did take a break for just a minute for me to get some water her get some more ink and me, me take a break from all this line work but I did send Craig a picture of where we were in the process it was kind of like here we are I'm doing okay <laughs> and then this is where we end up <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> oh my god it looks so good yeah. <laughs> oh my god oh my god it's so happy friends the tattoo is done it's been about a week now so i thought i'd show you a little bit of an update it's still healing it's really starting to hit the the flaky you know flaky flaky bit phase but it's looking so good look at it look at the little face so precious and these wings are just beautiful she really tried to do like a kind of beaded thing to kind of match this little beaded shindig I have over here. She was trying to add that to it, but also make it look very spiderwebby. I told her I really was wanting kind of Victorian looking Batsy Batsy. Obviously you can see there's a little bit of yellow right through here. I bruised like a mother with this one because it's a lot of very, very delicate line work. Um, and obviously that gets toward the tender part of the arm. But surprisingly, this one did not hurt nearly as much as I was expecting. Cause it's been, like I said, like three years at this point. Got my defibrillator vest. Let me move the strap. It's been about three years at this point since I've had a tattoo. So I was really concerned with how my pain tolerance was gonna be. But I think because I've been dealing with so much chronic pain in my body, I, I have built up a tolerance. So for the most part, it really wasn't that bad. It was only really when she started to do a lot of the shading that, ooh, yeah, that got in there. That was <laughs> definitely the bruise. So you can see it's a little bit of yellow here, a little bit of yellow on this side too. So, but I think it's healing really, really well. It just is so 
it makes me so happy. Like wearing my little bat necklace right now, it makes me so happy. I love it so much. I think it turned out so well. I'm so, so happy with it. Obviously, I got a couple more weeks of really just cleaning it, keeping it clean, keeping it moisturized. If you see a little redness around here, I promise you, this is not like an infection situation. I, sometimes the Sanoderm that I keep on it, um, so she put a layer on, and then I took it off after a little less than one day because it was starting to get real juicy, and then I actually have a roll of Sanoderm that I bought um, on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description. I love Sanoderm for healing my tattoos. So I put on another layer, like three different pieces, and kept that on for another like four days or so. It was starting to get really, I could feel it getting really dry. Like there was no more juices or plasma or anything coming out. So I was like, let me just go and take it off, wash it, and start the, you know, other healing process of it. But I use Sanoderm for healing, you know, these right here, my arms. The easiest healing process I've ever had, like zero scabbing. Um, this one hardly, hardly peeled. It did so well. Um, so honestly, Sanoderm is the way to go. If you are new to tattoos, or even if you're not, you never use Sanoderm, highly recommend it. It makes the, especially the first few days, um, I don't have to worry as much about like keeping things off of it or making sure it doesn't touch things or getting stuff all over it um, because you have that nice layer, a protective layer over it. So I really, really like it. Hi friends, Editing Jenny here. Um, I did want to pop in on uh, a couple notes that I forgot to say about this. So I really love Sanoderm as someone who is more susceptible to infection. So whether you're an autoimmune patient, if you're a heart patient like me, um, or have any sort of artificial heart valves or anything like that, I know we're more susceptible to endocarditis and infection. So I love the Sanoderm for keeping stuff off of it and at least those first few days kind of keeping it a little bit more clean. I will also say if you have a autoimmune or chronic health condition, you're on any immunosuppressants or you take, or if you have any sort of risk for infection like that, definitely talk to your doctor before you get tattooed. My doctors are very aware. They're pretty much used to it by now. So we have a whole protocol that I go through that they have instructed me on and I take antibiotics before I get tattooed. So definitely talk to your doctor because even though we love tattoos and body modifications and piercings and all that, we also have to be very aware of our risk of infection. So just be careful of that. Definitely keep your care team in the loop. That way, should anything get infected, they can kind of already know, oh, okay, this, this is what happened. Here's how we're going to go about treating it. So definitely, um, this is not medical advice, but I highly recommend talking to your care team to make sure you know what their recommendations are specifically for you and your conditions. So, okay, back to the video. I think it turned out so well and it's gonna heal like I said I got another couple of weeks um, oh but the redness so the redness around here this is not an infection um, I sometimes you know don't react super well to adhesives like when I have like my electrodes on or <laughs> different monitors and I have to have stickers all over me or adhesives from healing you know big old incisions and whatnot you see all around me all my incisions when I have like adhesive bandages and stuff sometimes I react to the adhesive um, thankfully I think on the tattoo itself is fine it was just like the skin around it especially for some of this part it was kind of like I had it a little far out probably and it was pulling on the skin so it's a little irritated it doesn't hurt at all though it just looks a little red so that'll that'll calm down in time I'll keep I've been keeping that area moisturized as well along with the tattoo itself but <laughs> Batsy Batsy's Looking so happy. Honestly, I think we should name him. Ooh, comment below. What should we name my bat? I would love something to start with a V. Like, I have another little decor bat that I've named Victor. No, actually, I've named him Vincent. That's right, I did Vincent. Maybe he could be named Victor. What you think? Does he look like a Victor? <laughs> I think it's just so precious. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, I'm still getting used to my new hair. I love it. I did a little space buns today, a little something, something, because it's super hot and I need my hair off my freaking head. <laughs> Loving my hair. It's just, mm, I feel real cute today. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about tattoos, like, I'm not an expert, but I've had a fair amount, so I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have about them. Just leave them down in the comments. Also, um, I have done a tattoo vlog. It has everything except for this one on it. I did that in, who I think 2021. It was in Vlogtober. So I will make sure to link that down in the description below in case you want to see all my other tattoos, stories, 
all that kind of stuff about them, why I have them, what they mean to me, that sort of thing. So I'll link that down in the description if you want to check that out. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I know this was a little bit different kind of video, but I thought it'd be something fun. Take you along with me while we get Victor on my body. You guys know, especially last year, I really, really fell in love with bats as, dark, as a decor situation. Um, I loved them before, but then I was just, I've gone bat crazy. So yeah, I'm really excited also when it comes to Halloween decor hunting this year. I think I've already planned what I want to do for my mantle. I'm going to be doing a video talking all about Halloween decor hunting and like my plans, my thoughts, hopes, wishes, dreams, all of that. Um, that should be coming in the next couple of weeks because it's June, baby. Like, oh my gosh, we're nearly in Halloween decor hunting season and I... I cannot wait. So we definitely got to get those plans rolling. That'll be coming soon, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already and you like this kind of stuff, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I try to do about one video a week. As we get to Halloween decor hunting season, it's probably going to amp up to two a week, but we'll just see. We'll see how the old health situation is, but for now, I'm really aiming for one video a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!